Mesdames et messieurs, Maïwen et toute l'équipe de Jeanne Dubarry. Maïwen et la whole team de Jeanne Dubarry. commencer très vite par les we'll présentations parce que c'est vous êtes plein de questions. Euh, on va démarrer au bout de la table avec de Beck, with Suzanne Debeck, India Hare et Benjamin Laverne. India Hare, on va Benjamin repartir Laverne. ici avec Pascal Grégory et Pierre Richard et Madame la réalisatrice Maïwen. And the director, Maïwen. Avant de vous donner la parole, je voudrais juste euh, floor, poser une like uh, question très simple. Et, uh, les images de votre question. émotion hier étaient uh, très très belles après la projection. It was very beautiful to see how moved you were after the screening. I had the impression that you were all deeply moved. Très ému. Yes, I was indeed. It's a film dans ma tête comme une obsession depuis 17 ans. Que j'ai travaillé depuis 17 ans. It was a sort of an obsession. I started working on it in 2016. There was a huge amount of emotion because the film was released at the same time in France, so it was a, a double the pressure. And for the actors? Huge emotion to see the uh, film on the screen and share this with everyone. I discovered it yesterday. It was quite incredible to live uh, and experience this all together. It was wonderful. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Je confirme. I agree. Et, non, non, c'était ma première fois It à, à the, Cannes aussi. Donc, uh, first time I was in Cannes too. À, so there's something quite sacred when you come to this temple of the de, cinema. De We were defending a real group Cannes film. Cannes, c'est vraiment l'occasion de retrouver ce groupe qui est là. Et de revoir le film sur cet écran. Et de revoir le film sur cet écran. Gentlemen, I've often been in Cannes during the festival, of course, but this is the first time that I've been here with a film. So obviously I was scared stiff, but uh, I was very excited at the same time. I felt tremendous pleasure. Uh, commensurate with the warm welcome given to the film. It was a lovely moment. So I hope I'll come back for another one. I'd like to thank My Wen for being here. Grâce à My Wen. Oui, merci My Wen. Yes, thank you, My Wen. Et, et merci à vous tous. And thank you to you all. C'est quand même une très belle équipe. It's always a wonderful cast. Moi, euh, certains le savent, j'ai fait And pas mal some de, people know, de films I have uh, been Donc, in a number of films in competition here. Et, so et going et up voilà, the ça, uh, red carpet uh, uh, was a form of continuity. Cas, Maybe non, it won't happen to me moins. again, but it was uh, extremely a moving. Okay. Okay. On va prendre une première question. We'll take a first question. Bonjour, je m'appelle Nicolette Falatu du CTF Culturel Programme. Je demande à ma une question à Maïwen. I would like to ask a question to Maïwen. I was deeply impressed by the performance of Johnny Depp. The performance of Johnny Depp, who unfortunately isn't yet here. He'll be here in a minute. Dites-moi, s'il vous plaît, vous avez choisi Johnny Depp pour le rôle de Johnny Depp. Why you chose Johnny Depp? d'une roi français. To portray a French king. Alors, euh, d'abord, avant d'aller voir First Johnny, j'ai proposé le rôle à des acteurs français. First of all, before I went to see Johnny, I proposed the part to some French actors who I uh, very much après, enjoy. But uh, that didn't work out. I wanted to be faithful to my desires and I thought that uh, what I wanted was far more important than necessarily having a French actor. Je voulais vibrer pour l'acteur. I wanted uh, to really feel strongly about the actor, particularly as I would be uh, hugging and kissing him later on. De ce côté. Hello. Après, enfin, je, je, je peux aussi quand même. Excusez-moi, hein, je suis un peu impressionné, donc. Euh, I'm a bit impressed. Sorry. Des réponses so perhaps peu courtes, uh, my answers euh, are a bit short. Johnny, quand Johnny, je l'ai rencontré, connaissait déjà him, énormément l'histoire de France. Was already very euh, familiar with the history of France. Il dit beaucoup depuis l'instant dans les interviews qu'il se sent. He uh, often says in interviews that he feels very much at home in France. He said this for 20 years, and it's not just a posture. He's very curious about France. He loves the country. He's very 
very uh, knowledgeable euh, about uh, French cinema, donc painting je, and music. Donné, je me suis dit, euh, At no voilà, moment, il va moment did I say, well, euh, he'll il, have to il, study il, il French, déjà plus French history. Que moi he sur, already knew uh, much more than I did about Louis XV. And when évidence, I met him, quoi, it, it seemed an obvious choice. We met at 3 o'clock in the afternoon and finished our interview at midnight and we hardly talked about the cinema at all. Voilà, j'ai eu une, vraiment un coup de foudre sur lui. I really uh, fell in love with him in this part. Allons-y, s'il vous plaît. Hello, uh, my name is Ayako Ishizu for uh, Korea, Japan. And uh, the uh, question for Mayen. Uh, the, well, why did you decide to not portray, I mean, uh, not depict the death of the Jane? Excusez-moi, yeah. j'ai pas compris la question. Pourquoi vous avez voulu euh, ne, ne pas montrer la mort de Jeanne, ne pas ah. aller jusqu'au bout de son histoire euh, de, de, de Ça va quand même au bout de son histoire parce qu'on sait sa trajectoire jusqu'au bout. Mais je n'ai pas voulu filmer story. la scène parce que je voulais rester sur l'histoire d'amour. Mais je voulais rester sur l'histoire d'amour parce que je voulais rester sur l'histoire d'amour. Je me suis posé mille questions parce qu'il n'y a pas I que la mort myself, many, many de questions. Jeanne que j'aurais aimé filmer. Il y a des relations que j'aurais aimé développer, Jeanne, but also other relationships I would have liked to develop, particularly when she left Versailles. Mais voilà, il fallait faire des choix et je trouvais que l'endroit où on se concentrait. Euh, I felt therefore de sa that vie, uh, the part of uh, her life that I wanted to focus on après, was the uh, part when she's in love with the king. Les conséquences de the consequences also de sa vie à Versailles qui of her life in Versailles. Euh, je voulais pas que ça ressemble trop à un biopic aussi ou I didn't want the film to look like a biopic which ran through all the key moments in her life. I wanted to focus on the love story above all and how people in Versailles son tempérament que je voulais disparagingly about her. That's what I wanted to film more than the key moments in her life. I noticed that in biopics ils avaient tendance à survoler les the vies des personnages historiques just to, et to de run pas through the whole life of these historic characters humaines, without going deeper into the human relationships. What interests me, above all, quand un film, when I write a film, is to delve into human relationships and the paradoxes voilà. you find therein. Avant de prendre une question, je voudrais juste euh, poser une question à Maïwen, like mais aussi à, à, à tous. Ces, euh, moi, ce qui m'a well. étonné dans le film, c'est cet équilibre entre la tradition, la, 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 comment vous décrivez tous les usages de Versailles, all the customs in Versailles which et, sometimes et la modernité. Quite incredible. Il, y a, il y a une vraie modernité dans le film, le très modern side of things, uh, which, which is very relevant. On n'est pas dans du Marie-Antoinette où on va vers une modernité plus affichée, mais elle est là, elle est toujours là. Ma question, c'est comment vous arrivez à cet équilibre aussi bien Je vous dis que dans le jeu des acteurs, In terms of the uh, performance of the actors and uh, the staging, did you say, well, don't uh, act as though you were in a historical film? How did, how did you strike this balance? When I started to write the film, I had certain, certain realizations. I saw lots of films on the 18th century, in particular on Marie Antoinette. Well, Jeanne Mais, du Barry, uh, yeah, there isn't much about her. Films, And I noticed that when I didn't like the films I was watching, it's because the dialogues uh, were in old-fashioned French and there was too much dialogue. When I liked the films, it's because the directors imposed his or her authority uh, and a voilà, view of things. Dis, so I said to myself, well, I must find my own identity, my own way of writing. I shouldn't be impressed uh, by the time, uh, by old the French style language. C'est là que la personnalité du de la personne qui écrit se fait sentir. And that's where the personality of the screenwriter comes through. At no point in time did I say I want the film to be a modern one. I never said to myself, for example, that the film had to be anachronistic. Je voulais que les acteurs soient juste dans des dialogues intemporels. Je me suis plutôt intéressée aux dialogues intemporels plutôt que aux dialogues du XVIIIe siècle. More than to have an 18th century style dialogue. Et sur le plateau, lorsqu'on a commencé les scènes, j'ai essayé de 
veut dire aux acteurs de ne pas rester figés sur le texte pour voir ce que ça pouvait provoquer. Euh, si je pouvais avoir plus de naturalisme, etc. Et j'ai très vite compris que c'était pas un bon chemin de les laisser en, 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 en libre, en improvisation. Ça avait tendance à dériver sur un ton un peu parodique, un peu comédie. Et donc, euh, j'ai so, dirigé en, en leur disant, il faut rester dans le texte, mais en même temps, well, stick to the text, but if there are words or commas that uh, you don't think are right, well then just say so. I want you to feel at home uh, with the dialogue. So this is how I tried to strike a happy balance between respecting the time and respecting the actors. I think they all have their own way of uh, um, talking about the filming. I remember you said during the tapes that the actor had to be dans believable qui ne uh, pas. Oui. as an, a person uh, of the voilà. times. <laughs> Non, mais sur l'aspect littéraire aussi de la langue, de comment there, on s'en empare et comment on n'est pas bloqué et figé dans quelque chose de poussiéreux. We et à la fois, c'était un peu toujours un kind of language. Oui. Parce que tu disais, ne faites, faites des élisions. Non, n'en faites pas. Um, et puis toi, tu en faisais. Saying, puis, well, that, était, uh, on était en recherche permanente we pour pas que ça vulgarise or trop or et ça devienne, comme tu dis, un peu naturaliste ou populaire. We et needed to stick même, to the historical aspect. Uh, dire, uh, but je n'ai pas au lieu de j'ai pas. Oui. Ou je suis malade. Oui. Je suis malade. We're careful et, uh, not ça, to use too many ellipses. Uh, we didn't want to say don't do this. Uh, rather, we felt it was important to say do not. You had to retain a given level of language in the course of the dialogues. Well, searching for the truth and, and a certain frailty, of course. Uh, and so you said, well, try to say this in your own words. Well, I don't have a, a feather pen like people did at the time. I don't know how people did write at the time. So often après, what we moi, did was to revert to what was written. Also, I wanted Versailles, to stick to the idea that in Versailles, spontaneity was Donc, not uh, something very proper. And this uh, uh, can be seen in the characters in Versailles. My character could be fairly spontaneous, and that's what I was looking for. I wanted uh, Jeanne's charm autres, to uh, be quite clear and come through in the film. But as to the others, they had to be very upright, strict, une question d'étiquette à Versailles. There was a lot of etiquette in Versailles. Appearances counted a lot. Bonjour, madame. Bonjour. I have a question about the character Zamor. How much uh, research did you do in um, making his character, first of all, was he an actual character in history? I know that there were certain um, children from Africa who were sold into as pages or slaves back then, but how, much, how historically accurate were you in, with Zamor, and what was your thinking uh, in, in making him, um, in the life that you portrayed, that he lived with uh, Madame Jean du Barry? Okay. Je crois avoir tout compris, mais peut-être ça Alors, serait d'abord, est-ce que oui. Zamor est un personnage qui a vraiment existé ouais. euh, so, et, euh, et qu'est-ce que vous avez Zamor vraiment voulu really dire à travers lui et sa relation avec lui Alors, euh, oui, absolument, le personnage de Zamor a the totalement existé. Le personnage de Zamor a totalement existé. Tout ce qui y avait, real, euh, read, tout ce qui existait sur lui, that had been written euh, on him. en espérant que ce n'était pas romancé. I hope that, uh, it wasn't, uh, Je trouvais, d'abord, en première version, la relation entre Jeanne et Zamour prenait énormément de place et une histoire qui m'a beaucoup intéressée et que je trouvais très intéressant de dire parce que c'était un moyen aussi de montrer que Jeanne avait des paradoxes qu'elle aimait énormément ses enfants et qu'elle aimait avoir 12-13 ans et l'a rejeté et je trouvais que c'était important de montrer ça parce que I felt it was important to show this in the film. It's a, a portrait of the time. And what was the next part of the question? Oh, the relationship at the beginning. Jeanne, and I hope you sense this in the film, has uh, strong maternal uh, feelings. She loved uh, Adolf, her stepson, uh, uh, portrayed by Thibault uh, Bonenfant, and she was very uh, maternal towards Zamour. 
éduquer. She elle a wanted mis, to educate him pas, pas mal de choses pour qu'il ait une grande éducation. Sure, sure Et puis would, malheureusement, uh, je pense qu'elle était... Unfortunately, euh, comment dirais-je How can I put this euh, un, peu dépend, un peu trop dépendante du She regard de la much, cour, perhaps, donc, notamment les filles de la cour, qui the court viewed her, in particular the daughters of the king. So she, in the end, rejected In Jeanne's head, in order to be accepted cour, by the bien, court, perhaps uh, ce she jeune garçon, felt it was necessary to reject this uh, young boy. Après, j'ai voulu faire des choix. En fait, l'histoire de Jeanne choices, et Zamor course. mériterait the story un film entier tellement c'est beau, c'est fort, c'est dur, c'est violent. Il a été dit que Zamor est un des responsables pour, pour que Jeanne ait été ce soit fait guillotiné, pour la dénoncer pour les révolutionnaires. Je sais qu'il est devenu très amoureux d'elle du temps où il était adulte, où il était gouverneur de son pavillon. Mais il semblait qu'il l'a aimé beaucoup plus tard. Much, uh, when he grew up. I think we're going to have a visitor in a few minutes' time. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, uh, Johnny Depp. Et donc j'ai perdu le fil, excusez-moi. Oui, que euh, Zamor était très amoureux d'elle. Vous avez dit que Zamor était très amoureux d'elle. Il était très amoureux d'elle quand elle était gouverneur de Lucienne. Et puis il l'a rejeté. 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 Et puis The emotion yesterday after the the, the screening it was very touching images to, to watch. Uh, w- what was the feeling? Just very just very simply, what was the feeling after the, the screening yesterday and this uh, standing ovation? Um, for well, for a, a couple of seconds, it sort of scared me because it felt like we were stuck in a loop. You know. <laughs> when we were standing and um, the applause and the reaction from the audience, just the, uh, uh, the, the energy of their um, reaction was, uh, yeah, it just, seemed to go, it just seemed to go on and on. And I, I, I was, uh, I was, yeah, uh, you know, you, you, you become like a kind of a, because we're all sort of, mommies and daddies of the film in a, in a, in a weird way. My win, of course, this is her baby, but um, proud. I was very proud to, to uh, see the comeuppance of uh, the result of good work. I haven't seen the thing, but I know it's good because they said so. <laughs> and I trust them. All right, we have one question. Oui, bonjour. Benoît Berthelot de Bloomberg. Benoît J'ai une question pour Mywen sur le financement du film. Vous avez dit que le financement du film avait été compliqué. C'est une question qui a reçu un financement saoudien. C'est une première pour un film français. Je voulais savoir si ça a été compliqué. C'est une première pour un film français. Je voulais savoir si ça a été compliqué. C'est une première pour un film français. Je voulais savoir si ça a été compliqué. C'est une première pour un film français. Je voulais savoir si ça a été compliqué. C'est une première pour un film français. Je voulais savoir si ça a été compliqué. C'est une première pour un film français. Je voulais savoir si ça a été compliqué. C'est une première pour un film français. Je voulais savoir si ça a été compliqué. C'est une première pour un film français. Je voulais savoir si ça a été compliqué. C'est une première pour un film français. Je voulais savoir si ça a été compliqué. C'est une première pour un film il n'y a pas que les Saoudiens, il y a aussi euh, les Saoudiens, il y a plusieurs productions, c'est un film qui est lourd à financer. Uh, uh, il n'y a pas eu de sujet sur les Saoudiens. Je suis très fière que ce soit produit par les Saoudiens. Les mentalités sont très évoluées. Je serais très fière d'aller là-bas présenter le film avec mes idées. Et voilà, les choses bougent. Ce n'est pas le premier film français produit par les Saoudiens. Je vais regarder Red Sea, il y a plein d'autres films français produits par les Saoudiens. Look at Red Sea. There are lots of other films. Très euh, comment reconnu dans le monde entier. Which are recognized euh, around bon, the world Netflix, with uh, uh, Saudi euh, non, financing. As to Netflix, no, it was never J'ai an issue. Dit que je ferais I always said that I would Johnny, make the film with Johnny. Euh, et Netflix n'a and jamais. Netflix, ça n'a jamais été un sujet. Voilà. And never raised the issue. Alors, on a une question par là-bas. Là-bas. 
Je vais lire Stelle Satellite Fax. J'avais une question sur la, question sur la relation entre Benjamin Laverne et Maïwen que Benjamin je trouve extraordinaire. Et Maïwen, que je trouve très extraordinaire. Il y a une question pour lui poser une question. Je voudrais aussi poser une question à Johnny Depp. Vous êtes surpris to be chosen for the, the, this role and how was it to, to, to shoot in, in French? Was it difficult for, for you? Um, was I surprised? Uh, yeah, I thought someone had made a, there was a terrible misspelling somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> and it, my wind and I ended up in the wrong room at the same time. Um, my, my, I mean, I, I didn't really, I didn't, I didn't feel any hesitation uh, with regard to the, to the guy, to the character, and all that, I, the, the, or the language, necessarily. I didn't find particularly intimidating. You know, a, a bit of a, you know, it's a, it's a bit like running through the raindrops, um, but. Uh, My question, my question to my wife when we first met was, are you, are you, maybe you want to try a French guy <laughs> um, as King, you know, Louis, uh, you know, as Louis Quinze. Um She thought about it for a second. She said, I, "I thought about that too." Nah, I want you to do it. <laughs> so, um, I, I thought it was very brave of her uh, to choose. Uh, some hillbilly from Kentucky to play Louis Kahn's. Um Very brave. Um, so yeah, I was, I, I was instantly, I mean, up for it, wanted to do it. Just wanted to make sure that, uh, that uh, I wasn't, uh, I don't know, stepping out of my box and into someone else's, you know, getting into other people's things, culture, thoughts, weirdness. Um, but I'm, gl I'm glad she persisted, and I'm glad I persisted. And uh, the experience of doing the film in French was, I wanted at least to be my pigeon French, at least I wanted it to be in some regard. Uh, I wanted to be able to improvise if necessary. So, you, That was, that was uh, again, you know, you're, you're way outside your language, your vernacular, and, and your way of expressing yourself. But uh, yeah, it was, uh, she was very patient with me, I'll put it that way. <laughs> All right, we have a question over there. Uh, Mr. Depp, on your uh, right. Hi. Anthony D'Alessandro from Deadline Hollywood. You had meant, uh, bravo on the film, You had you. mentioned in an interview in the Sunday Times back in 2021 that you felt boycotted by Hollywood. Do you still feel that? Do you still f do you feel that the tide is changing toward you doing major studio films again? Um, it's not my tide <laughs> that we're discussing. Um, did I feel boycotted by um, Hollywood? Well, I mean, you'd have to not have a pulse to feel <laughs> at that point, to, to feel like, no, none of this is happening. It's, this is actually just a kind of a weird joke. You've been asleep for 35 years. Um, so just let the weirdness commence. Of course, you know, I mean, when you're asked to resign from a film you're doing because of something that is merely a bunch of kind of vowels and consonants floating in the air. Um, yeah, you feel a bit boycotted. Do I feel boycotted now? No, not at all. Um, but I don't feel boycotted by Hollywood because I don't think about it. I don't think about Hollywood. <laughs> I don't... Uh, I don't have much further need for Hollywood myself. I don't, I don't know how you guys feel, but yeah, I think uh, it's a very strange, funny time where everybody would love to be able to be themselves, but they can't. 
because they must fall in line with the person in front of them. You want to live that kind of life? I wish you the best. I'll be on the other side somewhere, you know. Question the Thanks. Oui, bonjour, uh, Cathy Melen de la RTBF Radio Television Belge. Belgium I'm going to ask my question TV. in English because it's for Johnny Depp. Hello. Uh, But my when, if you want to answer, n'hésitez pas si vous voulez répondre. Uh, Johnny, we know that Cannes is a wonderful place for movies, but it's also a great <coughs> mediatic circus. So how do you feel <laughs> coming here, coming back on the spotlight, a lot of controversy, not especially talking about the movie, How both do you feel with that sometimes toxic surrounding? Thank you. Euh, je, je ne lis pas la presse. I don't je ne regarde pas la télé. I don't je watch n'écoute TV. pas les émissions de radio, radio sur mon film. About my film. Euh, je me protège. Je I ne sais pas ce qui se dit. Ce qui est très important, c'est d'être uh, fidèle à son désir, de fêter la fin de la fabrication du film avec l'équipe du film. Et puis, Peut-être qu'il se dit forcément des choses Maybe négatives sur le film. À mon avis, il se dit tout film. et n'importe quoi. Uh, C'est le jeu de Cannes. But, uh, je sais pas mon premier festival. Je sais comment ça marche. Le film est sorti hier. Le film est sorti hier. Le sorti hier. Le film est sorti hier. Le film est sorti hier. Je suis très It's, heureux. Le film est sorti hier. 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 Can, I mean, um, I first came to Cannes, <clears throat> it was like 92 or something. I came to Cannes accidentally, to the festival accidentally with Emir Kusturica and um, it was a, absolutely a circus like I, nothing I'd ever seen. It remains <laughs> the same. And uh, I think that's very good. Um, different faces, same actions, same everything. Um, and so the circus, the circus part is the weirdest part. Um, because it, it's, it's sort of like, uh, like you say, you know, people, Folks out there want to, well, I mean, you believe what you believe. The truth is the truth, it, you know. Um, as far as it being a positive or a negative to the film, all the sort of, um, abstract whispers Um, it, you know, but that all that does is it. Maybe maybe people talk about the film in this way, or they will talk about your work in in a certain way, up to a certain point. But the fact is, but we're all here because we made a film, not because we have a product to sell. <clears throat> but we made a film. Everything that <clears throat> the majority of you who've been reading for the last five or six years have been reading, uh, I mean, w with regard to me and my life, the majority of what you've read is fantastically, horrifically written fiction. Um, So, the fact is, as I was saying, we're here to talk about a film, but, you know, it's like asking a question. How are you doing? But what's underneath in the subtext is, God, I hate you. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So that's the sort of media thing. But the focus should be simply on the fact that It's a miracle to get a film made that you care about in the first place. So mm. you succeed there, you win right there. Mm. Um, 
But to get a film like this made, and with the caliber of, of people and the vision of a, of a tr absolutely, you know, a forward moving uh, artist, uh, that, that's the focus. That should be the real focus. All the stuff that you can stuff your shoes with, uh, you know, or line your parrot cage with. Um, I mean, it's boring, isn't it? Are you guys <laughs> sick of it by now? It's weird. $100,000 bird sings unrecorded Beatles songs. You'll get it later, I promise. <laughs> All right, we got a question in the center over there. Hello, Florencia Angelis from W Radio in Colombia. Uh, today, thank you very much film. for the film. And my Mywen. question for Johnny, uh, how did you prepare this character? Uh, um, you speak perfectly French with a good accent. I saw uh, Louis Kahn's uh, uh, with you yesterday, and I, th I imagine that it's not so easy to put yourself in the shoes of the King of France, being a not French uh, guy. Uh, thank you. Um. What was, the, what was the original part of the question, I'm sorry. How did you prepare for this? Uh, well, I knew that the first thing to focus on was most assuredly language, um, pronunciation, not the sort of, you know, you know, you can't use certain phrases that you'd love to use, like le cubo de nuit. <laughs> Doesn't really work coming out of Louis Kahn's mouth, though it sure, I'm sure it did. Um, but so yeah, it, it was really just trying to be as uh, precise as possible and uh, focused as possible. And uh, I had an amazing uh, French uh, uh, coach, Mathilde, who uh, who was fiery and mean and abused me. I'm kidding. Uh, um, no, uh, she's a she's a wonderful French teacher, and she was there, and she was diligent. And she made me stretch my mouth in weird places. <laughs> but I still like her. <laughs> she's, she's wonderful. And, and also, I mean, you know, for them, all the, you know, the, that's, this is their native tongue. Me, I'm, I'm, you know, sort of flapping around and hoping that the next word will come out in some form of French. Um, that was, it was fun, you know, because, uh, yeah, I had a lot of help. Um, and mainly they felt sorry for me and just do a couple of takes and send me to my trailer. I'd cry, I'd lay there and weep for hours. No, um, yeah, no, I had a very good teacher and I had a lot of patient actors and uh, crew. Oui, justement, Moi, je me souviens les... qu'il ne le dit pas, mais je sais qu'il avait un morceau de musique pour euh, chaque scène. Some, ça m'a beaucoup of music for each scene. Un morceau de musique pour chaque scène. Ouais, Expliquez-nous est... ça. Bah, quand on, on, When, je sais que pour sa mort, je crois qu'il était dans sa bulle et il écoutait sa musique. Back. Voilà. Il était dans sa bulle et il écoutait sa musique. His, uh, bubble, so il avait speak, étudié à l'avance le morceau il allait écouter. Uh, which piece of music et puis, he quand il arrivait le matin et qu'il me montrait les scènes, il y avait des flèches partout, des dessins. There were arrows all over the place and drawings. And euh, voilà, c'était très impressionnant de voir euh, à quel point il voulait y mettre euh, son regard, really, uh, sa vision. To, uh, uh, Et convey his vision, his way of looking at things. Là, vous du français, mais Here you've referred euh, only to French. But I was deeply impressed by de, de the qu'il a fait, pas seulement sur Louis XV, mais uh, sur l'époque. Uh, his studying voilà. of Louis XV and, and the times. The mais justement, pour les autres acteurs, c'est comment jouer en français avec actors, What's it like to uh, act in French with Johnny Depp? À quel moment on se dit, bon, uh, at what point in time did you say, oh, well, it non, was, Johnny, it was okay. dans le travail parce qu'il est Johnny is amazing. Très chaleureux et tout de suite, when il vous met à son niveau. Et work, pas, he's very star. warm, he makes you feel very much at ease. 
Ça va secouer. He's a great star. Il dit vraiment, he says, oh, wow, well, you know, hold on tight. Toi, uh, It's going to be a rough ride. Et puis aussi, j'ai besoin de toi. Il y a une grande and collaboration dans le travail, une grande équipe. There's a huge amount of uh, collaboration working with him. And he's very humble. Impressionnante. Uh, he was deeply impressed with this respect. Il est très à l'aise. Il permet d'être que dans We're le travail, justement. Together. Et de partager. And uh, he ce qui était assez enabled précieux, us to share things. Parce que nous, on a ce, ce duo. On doit avoir donné l'impression qu'on se connaît par cœur. Le premier valet du roi. We have to give the impression that we know each other by heart. We have to give the impression that we know each other by heart. We have to give the impression that we know each other by heart. The ballet of the king is his closest collaborator. And to find that intimacy, his closest collaborator, his closest friend, 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 his closest en tout cas, me me no end, uh, me, and he uh, me dit, travail, mm, he said to me, me well, come on, let's work Wen together uh, and we'll uh, ça, uh, uh, ça, propose to my Wen that we uh, edit this or add that. And I very quickly felt extremely at ease. Fertile, I know it really bore results and very quickly we established this complicity in our work. I was deeply impressed when it came to the French language. It's very difficult to pronounce the French R and he managed it right away and he really looked like a king. I was quickly reassured and thought, no, it's going to be very believable indeed. It's going to be fine. The first time I met with Johnny, I spoke to him exclusively in French. I didn't want to speak to him in English at all. I was struck to see, and I'm not saying this because we're in Cannes, because that doesn't influence me in any way. His French pronunciation was perfect. It's just that every so often he, he searched for the right word. In English, too, he says. But with the French R's and so on, everything Americans find it difficult to pronounce, well, he didn't have that problem at all. Hi, this is uh, Matt Donnelly from Variety. Um, Mr. Depp, related to what you said earlier, uh, there has been a bit of controversy about your presence here in Cannes regarding your past legal matters, personal legal matters. Um, what would you say to those who think you should not have been here at the festival? <laughs> well, so um, we're talking theoretically about what would I do if there were people who didn't want me to come to the Cannes Film Festival? What if one day they did not allow me, under no circumstances, no matter what, I cannot go to McDonald's for life? Because somewhere, if you got them all in one room, there'd be 39 angry people watching me eat a Big Mac on a loop. <laughs> Just for fun. Um, who are they? Why do they care? Some kind of, some species, some tower of mashed potatoes covering the light of a computer screen, anonymous, with apparently a lot of spare time. I don't think I'm the one who should be worried. I think, I think people should really think about what it's all about, really. OK. We got to sort get another. Okay. No. Another one. So hello, my name is Yael Khan. I'm a French journalist. So uh, for Johnny Depp, you have been recently exposed on the international stage. I was exposed this morning <laughs> 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 to myself, of course. Uh, and I want to know uh, what's your mindset getting getting back of acting? Do you approach it? Do you approach it any differently as before? And also, I have another question. What's I laugh your more. No, just one question. Yes. Oh. <laughs> um, no, I mean, it's weird. People s uh, uh, have seen or heard the word <coughs> comeback exchanged by folks and using that as the sort of catchphrase of ah, the guy's, he's making a comeback or he's made a comeback. If that, and 
after whatever experiences, not only myself, but other people have experienced, you know, whatever anybody's been through over the, over the COVID years, over the, the this or the that, and suddenly <clears throat> the film comes to the Cannes Film Festival and then this wonderful new word, by the way, I've had about 17 comebacks apparently. Um, I keep wondering about the word comeback because I, I didn't go anywhere. As a matter of fact, I live about 45 minutes away. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I, um, maybe, maybe people stopped calling out of whatever their, their fear was at the time. Um, but no, I didn't go nowhere. I, I've been sitting around. Um, so come back is sort of like, you know, it, it's almost like I'm going to come out and do a tap dance or some kind of, you know, spectacle here on the table and, you know, dance my best for you guys and hope that you approve. That, that's, uh, that's, a, that's, a, that's the, hope, the notion of something like that. Is it's a, a bizarre mystery. Uh, one last question. We only have time for one question. Mine? Oui. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Stand up. Hi. Uh, hi, I'm Alessandro Hi. Tommasi from Italian newspaper Leggo. Mm. And uh, I was wondering about the movie. Do you think, uh, Johnny Depp, do you think that the situation that the king lives in, like this kind of attention, the jerky, is more or less like the celebrity status when everyone wants something for you and uh, on top it's very lonely and we can see this this king that, that's lonely and kind of betrayed by the daughters as well i mean how, how do you see the comparison do, voyez, do you relate to that thank you la question c'est voyez vous la comparaison entre être roi et être star et comment ça ça, ça, ça se rejoint au niveau de la vie for du roi à l'époque et, et les stars c'est pour Johnny Depp um, I, th I think you know I, w I would think that pretty much anybody could um, could make a similar kind of com personal comparison that is to say you can apply your own experiences to anything and everything that you do um, and I didn't what, what I felt what was most important about, about the character just for foundationally just was the the very idea that uh, first you need to figure out a way that the that the the viewer can for, forget who you are and all the uh, can forget all the baggage you carry um, within the first three to four minutes of the film. That's your biggest hope. Is that you say forget completely who you are. If you got there, you got good through. You, you did all right for a minute. Um, but also thinking about a character in terms of the various people he has to be, being the king, he's got to. He's got to have seven, eight different personalities in terms of who he deals with, how he deals with him. So I, I thought it was a, an interesting study in what a young boy was, you know, when he was made king at such a young age. And this, this vernacular and this language that he's, like he will speak with Laborde very differently than he would speak with uh, you, you know, uh, any other character, he, it, the bald and he is he, very close. So that would be a very tight thing. With my Wen's character, the Jean de Vary, uh, again, it's another approach. It's another slice of the king, because he's had to sort of pie himself um, to be to be a. a, a to maintain sort of sanity, I suppose, and distance and respect. So that, that was kind of the foundationally the most important. Um, and I hope the French worked. <laughs> if, if it doesn't, you can always play it backwards and it'll say something else. <laughs> That's what they tell me, I don't know. One last thing. Thank you very much.
Ouais. Merci, merci, merci beaucoup.